What does the future hold for the interaction between humans and machines? Yamaha engineers explore this question with the Motoroid 2. An innovative concept builds on a six-year-old idea and integrates modern trends such as artificial intelligence algorithms and facial recognition. The self-balancing feature is achieved through a swing arm and rear wheel that move independently from the bike's main structure. Motoroid 2 is trained to move autonomously, displaying impressive skills, even allowing users to dance with it. The concept can recognize specific gestures, although Yamaha's promotional page doesn't provide details on controlling the motorcycle without handlebars at this time. It is a kite designed for generating electricity. After seven years of development, Makani creators progressed from a 20 kilowatt prototype to a fully functional industrial kite generating around 600 kilowatt. Google acquired the Makani project, but in 2019, funding ceased, and in February 2020, Alphabet, Google's parent company, discontinued it. The Makani kite operates by ascending to 300, 400 meters, moving in circles, and producing electricity through its rotors. Connected to a ground station by a tether, it transmits the generated power. Makani requires wind speeds of 3.5 meters per second or higher for launch. The 600 kilowatt output can supply electricity to approximately 30 households. Up next in today's lineup is a project by the Russian company Hoversurf, who's busy working on a futuristic flying car. This innovative air cab boasts standout features, particularly its engines, utilizing the Venturi effect. These propeller-free engines are designed for enhanced quietness, compactness, and safety compared to traditional counterparts. The air cab, equipped with these engines, conveniently fits into standard parking spaces. Additionally, for a flying ambulance, the speed of 250 km h is advantageous. The anticipated flight time on a full battery charge is around 30 minutes, with a quick 40-minute recharge using a Tesla fast charger. AI plays a valuable role in envisioning future gadgets. It can sketch and describe almost anything, including hoverboards. Several operational hoverboards exist, like the one developed by Lexus in 2015. Despite the exciting prospect, it's not a glimpse into a missed futuristic era. Lexus employed a clever approach. They built a special skate park with metal plates beneath the surface. The hoverboard incorporates powerful magnets and superconductors chilled to minus 197 degrees Celsius using liquid nitrogen. This unique setup allows for the hoverboard's functionality debunking any notion of a widespread futuristic arrival. While the concept may seem amusing, the current reality involves specialized infrastructure and extreme cooling methods for these hoverboards to work effectively. With ongoing efforts to create hoverboards, they might one day become a common sight much like electric scooters are now. Autolive, a Swedish company with a rich history in pioneering two-point seatbelts in 1953, is now focusing on enhancing road safety. Their expertise lies in safety, and they are considering innovative solutions. Autolive suggests using airbags to protect vulnerable road users, such as scooter riders and skaters. The proposed system involves one airbag attached to the scooter or other modes of transportation with the second fixed near the car's windshield area. This dual airbag configuration is designed to provide optimal protection, even in head-on collisions. Despite these promising developments, there is currently no information about mass production plans. Autolive's dedication to safety remains a driving force in exploring ways to safeguard individuals on the road. A relief for people who spend long hours in front of a computer has emerged from Hong Kong. Local inventor Louis Hang has created a unique 24-inch monitor 
that utilizes natural light for front-facing illumination. While it looks like a regular monitor from the front, Hang has equipped the back with a light collector and reflector. While not suitable for dark environments without an additional lamp, during daylight it offers benefits for both your eyes and your budget, consuming only 4 watts of power. Hang has achieved success on Kickstarter and plans to deliver the monitors to backers next year at a cost of $569. The American Team Fluid Reality also took a peek into the future with this XR Gloves prototype. XR, encompassing virtual, augmented and mixed reality technologies, is advancing with the Fluid Reality Team's ambitious goals. Notably, their gloves feature tactile pixels on the fingertips, up to 20 per square centimeter. Each pixel functions as a compact hydraulic pump without moving parts, activated by an electric field. This innovative design generates tiny bubbles, offering a pressure sensation for the wearer. The makers anticipate a market price of $1,000 for these gloves, positioning them as five times more affordable than comparable alternatives. If launched, these gloves could redefine the accessibility of advanced XR experiences. Project Silica is a technology that stores data in quartz glass wafers. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's a real and functional invention developed by Microsoft. A small 75 by 75 by 2 millimeter quartz plate, employing laser technology, can store up to 75.6 gigabyte of data. This is achieved by creating intricate three-dimensional patterns using artificial intelligence algorithms. The plates are highly resilient, resisting scratches, magnetic fields, and boiling temperatures. The recorded data has an impressive longevity of about 10,000 years. Microsoft recommends utilizing these plates in cloud servers due to their durability and data storage capabilities. Motorola is no stranger to innovation at the Lenovo Tech World 2023. The company unveiled an intriguing prototype of a flexible smartphone. It's so flexible that you can wrap it around your wrist. Get a fantastic offer. Purchase a smartphone and receive a complimentary smartwatch. No need for a phone stand anymore, allowing you to enjoy videos while having lunch in its regular form. The screen size is 6.9 inches, reducing to 4.6 inches when bent. The mass production of this innovative smartphone is uncertain, but Motorola presented a similar concept in 2016, suggesting the company is intrigued by the idea. The Japanese have created a huge walking robot, about the size of a car. This three, four meter long giant named SRO2, is designed to comfortably carry four people Built by a company specializing in amusement rides, the robot moves at a slow pace, capable of squatting, turning in place, and bringing joy to both onlookers and passengers. Controlled remotely, it falls short of the scale of Star Wars AT-AT Walker, but hints at the potential for similar robots in amusement parks. While the SRO2 stands at an impressive 1.9 meters tall, future models might surpass its size the robot's features make it a unique addition to the realm of amusement park attractions, showcasing the continuous advancements in robotic entertainment. A strong base isn't just for parties and loud cars. As it turns out, it can also be used to put out fires. George Mason University students in the US have developed an innovative fire extinguisher using sound. Although the concept isn't novel, their compact and efficient design effectively extinguished burning alcohol in tests. The key lies in employing sound frequencies between 30 and 60 Hertz. Remarkably, the students achieved this success with a minimal budget of $600. They envision mounting these cost-effective fire extinguishers on drones for increased accessibility and versatility. This development shows a promising and affordable firefighting solution, offering a new perspective on fire safety. Fire safety.